It's that day of the week again, Adi. What do you say? You ready for some good news? You never answered my question. Are you ready for some good news? Well, I'm starting anyway. First up this week, a team of researchers has developed two new universal flu vaccines. Does that not do it for you? Researchers at Lancaster University, Aston University, and Complutense University are working on two universal flu vaccines, one designed to combat flu viruses common in the U.S., and another designed for global strains of the flu. The U.S. vaccine should provide protection against 95% of known strains of the flu in this country. The global vaccine should be effective against 88% of known strains of the flu around the world. But if they're universal, Steve, why does there need to be two of them? Well, okay, smartass, maybe they aren't universal in the most literal sense of that word, but they're still pretty damn extensive. And given the fact that influenza epidemics account for an estimated half a million deaths a year worldwide, according to the World Health Organization, these new vaccines could be very good news indeed. The study is published in the journal Bioinformatics. Next up, speaking of vaccines, new research has provided further evidence of the benefits of the HPV vaccine. The human papillomavirus, or HPV, is known to cause cervical, anal, and throat cancer, but it can be prevented with the HPV vaccine. Fewer than half of American children receive the vaccine, which is unfortunate since this new study from the University of New Mexico Comprehensive Cancer Center establishes that the HPV vaccine significantly reduces the incidence of precancerous lesions and other conditions linked to the development of HPV-related cancers. This research was conducted in New Mexico, which is currently the only U.S. state to maintain a state program offering cervical screenings and treatment, including the HPV vaccine. New Mexico has been encouraging residents to receive the vaccine since it was approved by the FDA in 2007. With more studies like this one, hopefully those efforts will be taken up by other states or better yet, the federal government, so we can soon see the rate of HPV-related cancers decline nationwide. The study is published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, Oncology. And finally, researchers in Ohio have succeeded in building a better bandage. I adore alliteration, don't you, Adi? This is good news for folks suffering from chronic wounds and estimated 7 million people in the U.S. alone. Researchers at The Ohio State University have developed a self-adhesive patch that generates an electrical current which reduces the risk of infection and promotes healing. The electrical current helps to prevent infection by penetrating the wound and disrupting the activities of bacteria, preventing them from joining together to create biofilms that can thwart antibiotic treatments. Destroying biofilms enables antibiotics to work better, fighting off infection, and reducing chronic inflammation. The early results of the study of this bioelectric dressing were presented earlier this year at the annual meeting of the Wound Healing Society. Scientists develop new flu vaccines, research confirms the benefits of the HPV vaccine, and a new self-adhesive bioelectric wound dressing could reduce infection and speed healing. That's the good news. Hey folks, we hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron, whether the cat likes it or not. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.